Okay, YouTube, I'm back with an update video. And uh, what I've done is I've added another solar panel, a commercial solar panel this time. I, and so I now have um, three solar panels. This one is black and it's uh, a Renogy, uh, Renogy two, two, um, 250 watt uh, solar panel. So I've added that and I've also added an, an additional grid tie inverter. So I have two and they're just daisy chained together. And they're both, uh, you know, APS YC 500 A's, and uh, so they're about 500 watts a piece. So all three panels together will total uh, approximately 600, potentially 650 watts. I've also added a uh, disconnect switch um, uh, to my uh, solar array, just you know, just to you know to make sure that if somebody does have to. Come up here and turn it off that there is a switch for them um, I've also um, grounded it uh, a little better than I did uh, before and so this one is uh, number six uh, solid copper wiring and um, and so you know to a um, eight-foot ground spike that I pounded into the ground so uh, right now things look uh, pretty good uh, you know disconnect is working pretty well and so far on a sunny day, I have uh, recorded through the TED, uh, the Energy Detective, I've recorded that this panel array have, is, has produced uh, 600 and I believe 36 watts, 636 watts. Um, out of potentially 650, that's not bad. So again, I decided to go with commercial panels, uh, at least a commercial panel for my main array. And so uh, I'm going to uh, ground mount the other two panels that I made. I'm going to ground mount them right beside this particular array. And so I'll be getting the power from them as well. But on a, you know, a ground mount system where I can, you know, disassemble it and put it away. This is more of a, a permanent structure. So this is why I kind of wanted to stick with, uh, you know, uh, warranted stuff. Uh, but uh, the other one worked fine. It worked fine. Uh, but this right here, uh, this is, yeah, this is better. But anyway, all right, take care, YouTube.